Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a, another animal mashed up video and today I'm going to be doing a cat mashed up with a moth. This one definitely turned out the cutest out of the last one I made. So let's see how it goes. the outline of the cat very shaky and stuff because I want to make this cat mashed up with a fluffy moth so it's a fluffy cat with a fluffy moth mashed together so I'm gonna try and make the um, outline as fluffy as I can <laughs> I know how weird it looks right now, but I promise you that it looks really cute at the end, even though how it's looking right now. So, I had a really hard time figuring out the nails, and then I realized that the cat looked really weird and it was because it had no back legs. I did this to I did the same thing to the cat bee and yeah I totally forgot about the back legs with the bee. So I'm trying not to forget it this time and let's just go on with the video. I promise you that I'll change the eye later, but this is just a for now eye. So here I'm gonna add a little bushy eyebrow because moths always remind me of little tiny eyebrows, like circle ones. And they turn out so cute! Oh. idea what these things are called anyway um so they have really poofy oh my god they just have really poofies and I really want to make it poofy really poofy too but I always I've drawn moths 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 before and um 
I've always had hard times drawing these things, and I, after after I drawed the poofy things, I looked at a reference photo. You'll see later in the video. Um, they don't just have poofy at the top; they have poofy at the bottom too, and in the middle and everywhere. So I totally messed this one up, but now I'm just. I feel like that these little poofy things have these at the end, so I drawed these and it definitely made a difference for the poofiness, but anyway. This is me doing the other fluffy thing, but this is not the. I don't know why I'm doing this. What this is what I'm saying? Because basically, I'm gonna change the other one anyway. Because this is when I realized that the poofy was at the bottom and middle too. So I quickly just changed this, but then I just wasted my time. Also, I did the puffs really weird because one end is longer than the other so this is what it's gonna have to be but it still turned out good at the end also it's kind of fitting anyway okay let's get into the music thing <laughs> So here I am drawing wings, and then I decided to cheat a little bit and look at the butterfly wings. But butterfly wings, I'm pretty sure they're not the same as moth wings. So can we just pretend? Uh, I mean, those wings are pretty similar to moth wings. Like, look at this picture. Pretty similar, but they're still not the same. So, can we just pretend they're the same? Can we pretend they're the same?
So, mouths have like more than four legs. So, I had to make another two pairs. I had to make another pair of legs for it to kind of look like a moth. So, here I'm just trying to somehow draw another set of legs so it kind of looks like a moth. Didn't kind of work. So, just pretend. Oh wait, I'm still going. Just pretend that there's another leg in there somewhere. Okay? Right, let's fix up our problem. Basically, moths have really big eyes. And that's what makes them so cute. Look at that. So they have big eyes. And I'm trying to make big eyes, but it's not really working. But I'm gonna try my best. So I can make cute eyes. But it's just so cute at the moment. So, because I still want it to look like a cat, it's also gonna have a pupil because it still needs to look like a cat. So. Yeah. Right, let's color this BB. Let's get this BB a little bit of eye color because I went for a really brown moth because cats, I wanted a brown cat and lots of, the most common, I feel like the most common moth is a brown one. So this one's not that much special and also I wanted to include a little bit of color. So it's got eye color and that's how cute it is. Anyway, goodbye. Goodbye, fellows. It took 58 minutes.